Hey, what's going on, guys? Thrash back here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Team of the Year Wednesday. It's kind of weird, right? It's not Team of the Week anymore. It's Team of the Year. We're finally here, and uh, it is the Young Guns Team of the Year. We also have a couple of Defensive Team of the Year that have uh, come out as well. So we'll go ahead, take a look at all the new cards, open up a couple packs, and just have some fun. Now, I did open up some packs on stream earlier today, and I didn't really get anything. Not going to lie to you. However, I just came home, said, hey, you know what? I'm going to rip a pack, and, well, I'll go ahead and show you. Not the best team of the year pull, but you know what? I got a team of the year. It happened, and that's a thing. So I can't really complain, but we'll go ahead and go through it here. First off, you can see your Nathan McKinnon and Connor McDavid. So you can only pull team of the year cards in team of the year packs. That's what they're saying. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. You want a team of the year player? You want to try and open packs? If you're going to do it, do uh, team of the year packs. It's the only way to get them, according to this. Also, there's sets. Now, there's really interesting sets. We'll go through everything. Don't worry. But uh, there's some pretty interesting stuff. Now, your Young Guns Team of the Year, you can see them all there. Absolutely beautiful. You also have Defensive Young Guns. 99 Barkov. 97 Larkin. I wish I had that card, man. We got 97 Heiskanen, 95 Ekblad, and 95 Kachuk. You also have 98 Ovi, 96 Malkin, and 90 Bishop, and 96 Kudrow. Look at like There's a lot of cards that are out right now. There's two different... Wierenski's out, because there is a Team of the Year Wierenski out right now, but we'll go ahead and go through your new Team of the Year, and hopefully uh, get one of these cards here. As you can see, 99, 99, 99. You can see all their synergies. McDavid and McKinnon, both with uh, two for Burner. Just going to make them even more expensive, but like, 99 overall. Incredible stats. Obviously going to be one of the best cards in the game. There's no, like, this is not a usual Team of the Week Wednesday where I sit there and I tell you what's bad about these cards. They're all amazing, except they have bad face-offs. None of these cards have good face-offs. There you go. That's the truth right there. <laughs> we'll go through every card here, though. Let you take a look at all the new cards. Some pretty good ones. I'd love to get the Braden Point, of course. Mitch Marner. Love it. We got Sebastian Ajo, which would be an amazing card. We got Jack Eichel. Um, I love his All-Star Game card, so this is obviously a, what, plus six on that. Be amazing. And then there it is. Pedersen. The one card out of this entire... If I can't get the Larkin, I want the Pedersen. Those are the two I want the most out of all of these cards. One, Larkin, obviously I'm a Wings fan. He's one of my favorite players. It only makes sense. But two, Pedersen in this game, his All-Star game card is 89. It's probably the best card I've used all year. Yeah, this is a plus seven. I gotta get my hands on it. Then we have Alexis Lafreniere. Now, I am very disappointed in these cards. And uh, for a couple reasons. One, Cody Glass and Morgan Frost... Both have bad face-offs. My Hut Diamond versions of those cards have better face-offs. I don't really understand. I feel like they may have made a mistake. I, I actually prefer the Hut Diamonds over the Team of the Year versions. But it is what it is. Lafreniere, as a, def er, as a defenseman, as a winger, has better face-offs than these two. I don't know what happened. I don't know what the deal is. But regardless, they're probably going to play pretty good. But uh, I don't know. You got Thomas Shabbat up to a 99. Two for Burner. He's going to go for a ton. You got Rasmus Dillon. Again, gonna go for a lot. Doesn't have two for burner. Doesn't matter. <laughs> He's gonna be a god. It's, I, I'm really excited to try any of these cards, really. We got Zach Wierenski up to a 97. Surprised to see him there. Now, I shouldn't be surprised to see him there. I just, I totally forgot about Zach Wierenski. As bad as that sounds, I forgot that he had a chance at Team of the Year. So, we got Noah Hannafin, 97 as well. Oh, God. And then, uh, Bowen Byram playing for the uh, Vancouver Giants. Looks like a decent card. Might be something I'd like to try out. He's only 92 overall, but he probably plays pretty good. And then Jarrett McIsaac. Now, he is a Red Wings prospect. Drafted him last year. I want to get my hands on this one as well. Obviously, as a Wings fan. Last but not least, we got the goalies, Carter Hart. Now, they don't have two for Burner, neither of them. I know that's going to be a big question. But other than that, I don't know if we should try him or not. All goalies are kind of crap. You know what I mean? But uh, if I pull one, I'll definitely try one. Oh, free pack time. What are we going to get? Wow, it's a Connor Ali and 100 coins. Thanks, EA. Now, we'll go ahead and go through the uh, competitive season. Oh, wait, there isn't one. Isn't that weird that there's no competitive season for Team of the Year? I don't like it. There's no competitive season for Team of the Year. I was hoping that we get something, you know what I mean? Maybe nothing extreme, but it's kind of weird that there's no competitive season. But regardless, no competitive season, but we do have new progression 
or not progression, I guess, but event uh, objectives. And the best thing you can get out of this is a premium Young Guns Team of the Year pack. Uh, you get a couple collectibles and some jerseys and some coin bonanzas, but nothing great. Um, I don't know. Not a fan, man. I, I feel like they kind of dropped the ball. Again, it's only Young Guns, though, right? We need to we need to remember it's only Young Guns. We also have some new challenges. Again, nothing crazy in here, but we'll go ahead and take a look at them. You get a contracts pack for beating the Florida Panthers today. And you get some collectibles and some bronze packs. Again, nothing crazy. But again, it's only week one of Team of the Year. You never know what we're going to get. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and open up a couple packs. I don't have a lot of coin right now. I may or may not have bought in a card or two. But regardless, I'm going to open up two of these extreme Team of the Year packs. We'll call it a video. And I mean, I pulled a Morgan Frost. And we got a collectible, okay, can't complain. Two collectibles, that's sweet. Now we need to see one of those players. Come on. Come, yep, yeah. Oh, Doug Gilmar. Almost. <laughs> oh my god, that's two. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I see the black and I go, yeah, Oh man. Oh well, one more extreme Young Guns in the year pack and we'll call it a video. Maybe we get lucky, you know. Wouldn't that be nice? Now. Before we do open up this entire pack, we started off with a Ryan Murphy. Let me know down below of all the team of the year that are right now, including the Larkin, all those guys. Who do you want the most? I personally obviously want the Pedersen, maybe the Larkin, but I'll pretty much be happy with any of them as we got Ryan O'Reilly. We got Alexander Hilmerson, sure. I'm not gonna bother. Thomas Hurdle, yep, yep, yep. Anything, please, please, please. Patrick Klein, at least he goes for a little bit, but no luck in this one. How about a couple collectibles? Well, we got a silver. Come on, give me a young gun. Come on. Hey, there we go. We got a collectible. Now, again, it's been said that uh, you can only pull them in Team of the Year packs. Um, somebody on Twitter claimed to have pulled one in the Gold Plus pack. He has now deleted that tweet, so I don't know what to believe. I'm going to assume that you can't. Uh, you cannot pull them in rerolls, as far as I know, either, so it's unfortunate. But, uh, you never know what you can get. I'm gonna do... Man. I'm gonna do a mini, just to call it a video. Maybe I get lucky. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I wanna pull something big for you guys, you know? I got a couple of alumni, but that's not awesome. Another collectible is, though. I'll take that. That means I made coin on the pack. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and you're ready for the team of the year. Now, we do have the Larkin, the Barkov. Uh, who else was there? Heist get in. No, I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna take a look at these cards. Before we call it a video, I'm gonna take a look at these cards. Just so that way you can see the stats and the synergies and whatnot. First up, we got Dylan Larkin. Two for speed, stir and break up. Yeah, just makes sense, right? Give him the speed. But uh, again, horrible face-offs. The rest of the card looks incredible. Really want that card. Uh, we got Aaron Ekblad on the right D. Looks like a pretty good card. Uh, his shot's a little bit a little bit lacking. But other than that, he looks like he's gonna be a very good card. We got uh who else? Heishkinen, there you go. He's got two for Breakout Master, he's got one for Burner, but more importantly, he has a better shot. His shot as his All-Star Game card is awful. This is starting to get a little bit better. Um, still could be improved, but this is gonna be a really good one. I'm excited to try that one. We got Matty Kachuk, who I just pulled his 92. I'm glad I sold it, because he would have dropped in price considerably. This is a really good looking card. Uh, 92 everything for the shot, 92 deking, I like it. This is gonna be a very good card. And if I see an Ekblad, we'll take a look at him. I don't see an Ekblad. Of course I don't see an Ekblad. I'll go take a look at him in the collection. By the way, forgot to mention, these are the sets. You get 22 collectibles and you get a two-player choice pack, or 22 collectibles for a defensive team of the year pack, or 70 collectibles and you get any one of the three top line team of the year players. So that includes Shabbat, Deline, McDavid, McKinnon, Carter Hart, and uh, Mitch Marner. Those are, you'll get three of those players, just so you're aware. Now, um, I want to show it off. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Alexander Barkov and call it a video. But, uh, I don't know. Do you feel like it's a little bit underwhelming? I kind of feel like it is. Again, it's only Young Gun, so we can't, uh, can't be too upset right now. Never know what they have planned for the Offensive Team of the Year and whatnot, but it does feel a little bit underwhelming. Take a look at the Barkov. He has two for Faceoff Master. That's nice. And again, he's going to be an amazing card. I mean, he's high 90s for pretty much everything. That's a uh, that's one of the best cards I think in the game right now. But anyways, guys, like I said, that is gonna do it for the video. Sorry, I have a double outro for you. But regardless, I'm excited for Team of the Year. Hopefully, we get something good. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.